Hey guys, it's Shannon. Today I'm going to be building a palette style headboard for my son's twin size bed. So let's get started. So I've done a little bit of prep work already, so let me catch you up to where I am now, which is actually the frame and the pieces that you're actually not going to see once it's all built. This is just the structure, the part that's going to keep it all together and give you a nice base for your palette wood. So the, the overall size of this headboard frame is actually 40 inches wide from one side to the other and then from the top to the bottom it is 44 inches tall. So each piece is actually made up of one by twos. If you have two by twos or two by fours laying around, use what works for you. I have plenty of these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use these because it's a twin size. If you're gonna make a bigger size bed, a queen size, especially for a king size, I would definitely up it to two eyes and give it a little bit more structural soundness. Um, for a twin size, these one by twos will be just fine. To give you overall dimensions of each piece, the leg pieces on the sides are of course 44 inches tall. The support pieces that run on the top and the bottom here are 37 inches long. And then these structural pieces here in the middle are 21 and a half inches. Now, if you are going to be making a queen size bed or a larger size bed, a full size bed, add more of these support pieces in the middle to give you, give you some more stability. So one other thing I've already gone ahead and done is add pocket holes. So this is what's going to piece this all together. I have pocket holes on both ends of the top and bottom piece and then I have them on both ends of these center support beams and then those pocket holes will go into the sides and these pocket holes will go into the top and the bottom and it will sure it all up. So now I'm just going to be using one and a quarter inch wood screws to drill into those pocket holes to build this all together. Now that I have the frame built, I just flipped it over and I'm going to lay down some of the pallet wood on top. Craftsman Evolve nail gun and one and a quarter. 
actually added on two trim pieces on each side and then a trim piece to the top to kind of give it a nice finished look. You want to make sure that you measure up the height of your mattress. Ours with the bed frame and the box spring was 21 inches tall. So I made sure that it came down. This space here was um, at least less than 21 inches so that this headboard can kind of go behind the mattress just a little bit. So of course now you could paint it or you could stain it. Uh, we're doing a woodland sort of adventure theme in his bedroom so I'm actually going to leave this the natural rough looking pallet wood because I just love the look of it. Um, it's kind of naturally already aged um, but I am going to go ahead and seal it with a few coats of a clear matte spray so that way all of it is nice and sealed.